What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to show you how I find low spots in my fiberglass jobs. So this stuff is also known as guide coat. You can get it in a powder form, you can get it spray form, you can get it in a liquid form. This is a liquid form, so I'm gonna need acid, I'm gonna need a mix of acetone. Here, we're gonna be in a mixing cup. You don't really, it doesn't really need the cleanest mixing cup. Well, fill it about halfway. And guys, I'm gonna pull this stuff in there. Okay, that's a lot. I'm putting a lot because I want to get this stuff nice and dark. All right guys, so you can see here, it's all guided down. Whatever stays blue, now when I sand on my 80 grit sandpaper, it's a low spot. So I'm gonna put you guys on a quick time lapse. I'm gonna sand all this stuff down, and then we'll talk about it after. All right guys, so I just finished having lunch and I was editing the first part of this video. I realized that the time lapse wasn't that good. The quality wasn't that good and I apologize. But all the low spots are showing. All the blue parts are ready to be filled in with some super polyfill. I'm gonna mix up my batch and I'm gonna just touch up these little, these all these spots. I'm gonna re-ink the whole entire back and sand everything down. If there's any big spots, I'll, I'll cover it up polyfill if it's just any little pinholes pinholes like this there's another 3m product that i like to use that i have inside the garage that i'll show you guys in a bit and now i'll cover it up i gotta start getting all these detail areas now and yeah guys so it's a lot of work but i'm gonna put you guys on another time lapse peace All right guys, so just like that, that's how you use guide coat. Put it on to get all the low spots and you see most of all the low spots are gone. So for all these little pinholes that you see here, I'm not gonna use the polyfill. There's a 3M product that works perfectly for all those little pinholes. I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. See here, all the low spots are gone. 
this is these were the previous low spots everything's nice and smooth i'm gonna be primering this with all the um, finished primer i don't have the high bow primer i only have the finished primer so i'm gonna be priming all this tomorrow first thing in the morning when the sun's up i'm not gonna do it tonight because of the humidity and i'm gonna let it dry and then i'm gonna put another coat of ink over it i'm gonna sand all that down and then that i'll find all the little 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 pinholes and i use the 3m product that i have in my garage to fill in all those little pinholes so to sum everything up this is how you use guide coat guys it'll make any fiber any rookie fiberglasser look like a professional fiberglasser if you don't use ink or any type of guide coat when you're fiberglassing there's always going to be an imperfection somebody like me will be able to point it out super quick so to hide all those imperfections you have to use the guide coat guys all right so i'm gonna call it quits for today and i'll get back to it tomorrow peace